Hello again from Great Conference in Denmark, in Copenhagen. I'm here with Hohen. Hello, Hohen. Hello. I pronounce it really bad, right? It's Jochen. Jochen. Oh, okay, sorry. No My bad. <laughs> um, so, Jochen, <laughs> yes. um, I have a, a couple of questions for you. Yes. Uh, you took part in this uh, open discussion uh, concerning the future of, of Groovy. I don't know what's your perspective on it. I don't know what what do you think about the future of Groovy will be. Yeah, since we don't have uh, paid contributors anymore at the moment, uh, it means uh, development will be slower. But uh, Groovy will still develop and thrive, and the adoption rate is increasing. Actually, I, I think. For some people in the industry, it's actually good if uh, Groovy is moving a bit slower because uh, they can get used to new features uh, more easily and don't have to learn things all the time new. Mm -hmm. So it can it, it can actually have positive aspects as well. So it's for I think it's a good future too. Okay, and I'd like to ask you another thing. Um, you're also talking about this joint compilation in 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 Groovy, so I'd like to ask you. Uh, which problems does this joint uh, compilation solve and which doesn't? What problems does it solve and what problems it doesn't solve it at all? Yeah. So uh, the target of joint compilation, uh, the problem solving target is that you have a Java code and Groovy code and you have interdependencies and you want to still compile them, uh, but you cannot do it with one compiler or the other compiler. That's why the Groovy compiler got extended to support this thing we call joint compilation, which is like with a figure Groovy compiler and jo uh, Java compiler joining hands, and that's kind of where joint comes from. And uh, my talk was about that, for example, you cannot do transforms, like changing the Groovy classes with annotations in this scenario. Uh, unless you use certain other compilers, like a Groovy Eclipse compiler or whatever, and maybe possible other solutions for the future, like a new compiler where the Groovy compiler can independently compile the Groovy part by reading the Java files and the structure and leave the actual compilation of the Java files to some somebody else. Super interesting. We should see him. Everybody. So, well, uh, thanks for, for this time with us and for these words. Thank you. No problem. <laughs>